Connors helped him investigate. He tried to shake your head. When it found that the hot leather strap caught a trembling tip. He struggled to move, but racing around the twisted limbs, glittered to a rack formed from a series of sturdy plates. It spread her legs wide apart. Gosh, of wings are the only, only part of an upside down. <coughs> they the mate flutter frantically while she struggled to escape. As she reared, Pinky jumped suddenly into a line of sight. Buddy, you're awake. Now let's get started. Pinky screamed gleefully. She bounded on. Into the darkness. As quickly as she appeared, she turned a small plate covered by cloth. Pinky, what's going on? I can't move. Well, duh, that's because you're tied down. Could a pinky? That's why you can't move. I didn't think you needed to be told that. But why? What is, what's happening? I thought you were not for the whole... I thought you said I was supposed to help my catcher. You are helping. See, I ran out of the special ingredient and I need you to get some more. Special ingredient? Jack was now breathing heavily, starting to panic. What special ingredient? Pinky gave a little responded. <laughs> you silly! Jack's eyes widened. Her face contorted and she, then she started to laugh a sudden streak bordering on her scream. <laughs> well, you really caught me there. Pinky cried. I mean, tricking me into thinking I am going to get naked. Made into a cupcake. I just want to tell you, this is the best prank yet. You win. You're the best. Pinky only giggled even more. <laughs> Aw, thanks, Jack, but I haven't done anything to you, so I can't set you free. Jack, Jack was struggling again. Pinky, come on, this is so funny. Then why are you laughing? She poured out her and whipped it off the plate. On the floor was a plate containing very sharp medical tools and knives, carefully organized and wickedly sharp, as well as a large medical bag. Josh was now in full panic. She was starting to hyperventilate. Her mind blinked as she eyed her using it a quick turn. You can't do this, Pinky. I'm your friend. I know you are, and that's why I'm so happy that I'm helping you here. We get to share your last moments together. It's you and me. The other ponies will wonder where I am. When you tell Tom, he'll come looking for me. And then you'll get found out. Josh cried in desperation. Oh, Dad, said Pinky. Don't worry, there are plenty of other Pegasus ponies to take care of the big crowd. Besides, no one will find out. I mean, how long do you think I've been doing this? And with that ominous signal, the light suddenly came to life and revealed the rest of the room. <coughs> oh no! Jack reeled in horror at the image presented to her. The room was decorated with a but twisted pinky flag flare. 
colorful streamers of bright pinkel colors around on the ceiling. The late bloomers scores of all sizes of attached to the wall with organs done up in pastel colorless helium were tied to the back of chairs. The tables and chairs were made of bone in the tableware, but the top hurt. Glass curtains upon bring the tender sheep to the table near the chair. The heads of four chairs were eyes closed as if they were sleeping. Were wearing party hats made from their own skin. The funeral of Troy was broken by one of the mad afternoon concert set. Dash of eyes started back and broken the whole time a top of banner hanging from the rafters. Most of Cover one tiny hide for a bunch of the party were around the corner in the room. Lucas' attention was brought back by a party for unfurling and tickling in it. He gazed at Ginger Byer standing right in front of him. Party Tony was wearing a dress colored from rag skin and now black dress in the size of candy bar. Desperately, Nash pleaded with the smiling pony before it. Please and please, I'm sorry if I did anything to you. I didn't mean it. Please let me do what I promised and not tell anybody. Oh, Dash, you didn't do anything. It's just that your number came up and I don't try to make you do it. You can't prove that now. Oh, don't be sad, Dad, said Tushy. Look, this is who you are. I brought you a friend. Seemingly out of nowhere, Tushy produced a brightly painted blue and yellow skull. It was look. It was about seemingly well, that it was about pony size, but it had a very Defining feature, a beak. Dash reached in thought. Is that a skull? Hey, Dash, 